Hello, and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we will discuss changing out the thermal resistance stack on the DTC-300. The DTC-300 has a wide thermal resistance range, broken into three ranges, a low range, mid range, and high range. A given material can fall in any of these three ranges based on the quality of its surface. In the event that a sample material does not fall in the current resistance stack, you may need to change out the stack for the one that is more suitable for your sample. To do this, first, power off the instrument using the on-off switch located in the instrument's rear, open the instrument door, and with the furnace raised and facing the bottom stack, you will see two screws on either side holding the stack in place. Remove the two screws with a small screwdriver. Next, unhook the three yellow thermocouple connectors to the right of the stack and unplug the blue heater power cord on the left side of the stack. With everything now unattached, lift the stack directly upward to free it from its holding place and place it to the side. Taking the better suited resistance stack and using the two rods connected to the base of the instrument as a guide, fit the stack into place. Match the thermocouple connectors according to what is written on both the connector and the marking on the instrument. And plug in the blue heater power cord. Screw in the new bottom stack in the same place where you unscrewed them before. Make sure the screws are in tight and lift the top plate. In this tech tip, we discussed changing out the thermal resistance stack for the DTC-300. Please stay tuned for more helpful tips from TA Instruments and thank you for your interest.